Hey, good morning. Good news, Jesus is Lord. Really good news. The word works. We're going to go back to Luke 10. Pat and I was discussing that a little bit, going, saw something. Martha was cumbered about much care. I mean, she, she was worrying about how am I going to feed this bunch? You know, there's 13 people in her house to feed. They couldn't run down to McDonald's and get a burger. They couldn't run to, uh, you know, Kentucky Fried Chicken and get a bucket. So what are they going to do? They got to prepare that. Well, Martha was really concerned about it. And she went to Jesus and said, don't you care that my sister has left me to do this all by myself? Jesus didn't give her an award for her worry. And watch this. He didn't sympathize with her problem. Ooh. Faith people. <clears throat> I'm one of them faith people. I believe you are one of them faith people. Faith people don't need sympathy. They need more word. <laughs> Get this, Jesus did not say, oh, I understand you have this terrible problem. No, no, no. He didn't say that at all. He said, Mary has chosen the best part, which is hearing the word of God. So watch this. Somebody said, like, you know, today I said to my wife on the way home from church, I said, uh, I'd like for you to pray about something. She says, not my job. Made me so mad. Uh, well, do it anyway, because you love me. Was well, not my job. And she's right. Years ago, 25, 30 years ago, we were just learning about healing. I had a terrible symptom on my body, and I was sitting in an easy chair, and I said, Honey, will you come over and pray for me because I feel so bad? She looked over there. She says, I'm not going to come pray for you. You're healed. You know what the Word says. Get yourself up. And I got up to go over there and hit her. And when I got up, healing came. What I really wanted was her sympathy. Sympathy will get you nothing. It'll cause the circumstances to stay there and possibly get worse. Worse. So Jesus didn't say to, to Martha, oh, oh, I understand you've got this problem. We showed up on you here, uh, you know, with 13 people, maybe 73 people, I don't know, a bunch of folks, and I, I appreciate your concern. No, he never said anything about appreciating her care. He didn't give her a award or reward for her care. He rebuked her for taking the care and wanting the sympathy and wanting Jesus to feel sorry for her. And what Jesus said is get rid of the care by planting more of the word. Because <laughs> Mary hath chosen. I said this a couple of days ago. Frank has chosen that better part, that best part, which is the word of God. I've chosen to believe the word. See, the Bible says this. Whose report are you going to believe? You're either going to believe the report of the Lord are you going to re believe the report of the doctor or the lawyer or the rest of the world? I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. He sent his word and healed me. He also said that my God supplies my needs according to his riches and glory. So I'm not going to look to my body and I'm not going to look to my bank account. I'm going to look to the word. But now, if I don't have enough word in there, what will happen is I won't have enough faith in there to get the job done, and I'll write you an appeal letter and say, well, y'all pray for this ministry? Dear God, if y'all don't pray for this ministry and send us your money, we're going down the tube. You better watch this. <laughs> I am not going down the tube because I got the word on it. God said that he'd meet my needs according to his riches and glory. God said I'd live a long life. And I'm not moved by how I feel. I'm not moved by what the circumstances may be. The Bible says let God be true and every man a liar. Now I say to my wife several times a day, you love me. And she says, I really do, darling. But even if she does say that, I'm not moved by that. I'm moved by the fact that I love her and I'm redeemed from her not loving me from Deuteronomy chapter 28 and Galatians chapter 3. You put those two together that Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law. And part of the curse is the young, pretty young thing that you fell in love with as a teenager would be taken away from you. She's not going to be taken away from me. You can't have that woman. And far as I'm concerned, you can't have any of my children or my grandchildren or my great-grandchildren because I've made up my mind to believe the word. I don't need your sympathy. In fact, please don't give me any. I don't want you to feel sorry for me. Somebody says, well, what can I do for you? You can confess the word over me and believe God with me that the word is working. I don't want anything you got. I got everything I need. What? Get this. Galatians. Hmm. 
Is it Galatians? Anyway, this what is this? Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. That means I don't need your sympathy. I don't need you to feel sorry for me because I'm serving God. Man, serving God's the best job I've ever had. God pays well. This stuff's working. The word's working for me. So quit wanting sympathy. And they went like Martha did. Jesus, don't you care? He didn't give her any sympathy. He didn't give her any understanding. He just said, Martha, Martha, thou art cumbered and full of care about lots of things. He rebuked her and then turned around and says, go plant the seed of the word of God, just like Mary is, because he said this. Watch this. Mary hath chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. Sympathy won't do you any good. The word will do you lots of good. Uh, uh, taking up the cause might not help you at all, but taking up the word will put you over and everything, and it'll get rid of all that worry and all that care and all that stuff. Hey, I got to go. The word works, but you're going to have to plant the seed of the word of God. And quit wanting my sympathy and other people's sympathy and start going to the word and receiving it for yourself. So, hey, until I'm with you tomorrow, remember all day, hey, Jesus is Lord. The word is working, and it'll work for you.